All right, guys. So let's start with and load order in the description, by the way, if you think I'm speeding through here. Character creation overhaul. So the character creation overhaul is going to bring back birth signs, classes, specializations, favored attributes, and other major minor skills to Skyrim. You will have access to this at the start of the game when you're at creating your character as well as in a book in your inventory that you could utilize at any point during the game if you're not sure uh, what build you want to do. Skyrim Reputation, this is awesome and this is the optimized version of it by the way. So this is the reputation mechanic. Um, based on your reputation score, many of the game's NPCs will change how they respond to you, your choices will now matter for how people perceive you and not just whether or not you've delivered or fetched something for that particular NPC. So with the reputation mechanic introduced, this mod creates a reputation slash morality score for your character based on the quest you complete, the choices you make and your actions throughout your playthrough. Reflection level up messages. Reflection captures the spirit of previous entries of the Elder Scrolls series by displaying level up messages from previous games. Reflection adds over 20 level up messages from Morrowind and Oblivion. Sleep to level up, something else familiar to us from Oblivion. This is a lot like survival mode, but with this, you don't need to have survival turn on for this specific uh this specific mechanic to work, you will have to sleep before you can level your player up like in previous games, but this will not add any other survival mode features, just sleep to level up. For our HUD, we're using the Oblivion preset with pastel map markers. We're also gonna add more things to that UI that are familiar to us from Oblivion. We have Oblivion like loading screens, We've got Oblivion, um, the anthology main menu. We have Oblivion font and interaction icons as well. We have Skyrim musical overhaul. This is going to bring music from Morrowind and Oblivion and replace the music in Skyrim. And the Skyrim main menu theme replacer. This is specifically for main menu music and some UI sounds familiar to us from previous games, in addition to Oblivion level up music sound effects. Classic Oblivion Jail simulates the tough life in prison. The more time you serve, the more broken and tired your character will be. Some of his or her skills will randomly decrease, sometimes only slightly, sometimes a lot more. If you spend a lot of time in jail, there's always a very slight and rare chance that you meet another prisoner who can teach you a thing or two. Cumulative blessings, exactly what it sounds like. Now you can have multiple blessings and their attributes activated at one time, Daedric and Adric. Purification of Skyrim. Purification of Skyrim will allow you to have poisoned apples, which you can put into anyone's inventory and it will have adverse effects on them and some variety of effects. Really interesting, used in previous games for like Thieves Guild quests. Ooh, here's a good one. So we're using JK Skyrim exteriors to beautify our cities and towns. JK just uses um, some internal assets from the vanilla game to add clutter around and about to make the towns more lived in, but we're going to also add some oblivion gates into our cities, into our major holds. That needs to be patched as well, Skyrim, JK Skyrim with oblivion gates. And then we're also going to add more oblivion gates, but these oblivion gates will be added throughout the world, kind of like adding ancient ruins, you know, out and about. No conflicts, but you, they're not active. You can't go to oblivion through these gates. They're really just for the visual effects. 
We have Books of Skyrim SE Redux. This is going to add a really cool library in solitude that you can visit, a lot like having the library or the bookstore uh, from Oblivion. Organic Skyrim is our SMIM slash architecture mod. Um, I like the architecture for this for Oblivion. We can't like recreate Oblivion in Skyrim, but we can at least get some of, I guess, uh, the color scheme and kind of energy about it. That's pretty much what I did with the architecture and flora with this load order. We'll make it as similar as we can. How about that? All right, so these are our landscapes. We're using Tamrielic landscapes, green tundras, supreme obsidian weathers. Our interior lighting is gonna be LFX. We're gonna have JK's interiors. If you're not a big fan of JK's mods, just don't use them. You can use all of the other supplemental mods still uh, for the cities and stuff. But if you're okay with the vanilla cities or you wanna use something else, um, I don't know if like Oblivion Gates will have patches for them. So, um, change these mods out at your own risk. You don't have to use LFX for lighting, especially if you're not using JK's interior decorations. Um, but everything is patched up perfectly here. Like I said, load order and description. Um, if you want to know how to use JK's interiors with LFX lights without flickering lights. All right, so Oblivion Artifact Pack. This is a bunch of items from the Oblivion game that are placed into the world of Skyrim for you to find. There are shields, there's armor, there's weapons, books. Find them. Check out the description for more information. And from the Sky Oblivion remaster of Oblivion that is being done for PC, we have the master necromancer robes in the game now, which you can find in Anissa's cabin in the basement. And we also have Cyril Delic steel armor from Sky Oblivion, uh, which you can find on the road at the Cyril Del border, south on the map. Boars unbound because there's boars in Oblivion. We have Oblivion style troll health regeneration, classic level skeletons, making them way more um, lethal in combat. They're going to level up and have different weapons that they use, kind of like how they level up in Oblivion. Same thing with Oblivion ghosts. With the difference with like in Oblivion, um, only certain weapons can hurt ghosts as they're not truly material and check out the description for the types of weapons that you'll need to use to defeat the ghosts in the game. We're adding the faction Pit Fighter. This is a whole new faction uh, that you can join in the game. You compete in a variety of locations from Windhelm's Old Arena to Orc Strongholds and Smuggler Fighting Rings. New unique weapons from the Heavy Armories author Private Eye fight against a variety of opponents from one-on-one -on -one contests to fights against teams of opponents or dangerous creatures. Bet on and spectate fights in Windhelm's old arena. Lore friendly and consistent with the style and themes of the rest of the game. We also have, or we're bringing it back, the Thieves Guild Bounty Clearer. So now, Regardless of the bounty you obtain in the game, you will have a guy with the Thieves Guild that you can go to to clear all of your bounties and set things right for you. And these are all of the familiar creatures that we're bringing back from Oblivion um, into the world of Skyrim, like classic ghosts, leashes, flesh golem, really, but we're having the flesh colossus, similar, same thing. Imps, Cyrodelic minotaurs, clan fears, Ogres, zombies, hungers, scams, goblins, giant rats, mountain lions. At least those are the ones that I can find and that I could add standalone. So lots of new things for you to encounter out in the wilds. Be prepared. Big fights. And the Grey Cow of Nocturnal. I couldn't do this without adding some kind of a mission for the Grey Cow. There's quite a few mods to choose from. I went with the smaller option. Just a little something to supplement 
the mod list. Um, pick whichever one you like. There's plenty of storage space left to add whatever mods you want to add to this or swap out as you see fit. But the Grey Cow of Nocturnal, uh, this mod sets you on a short, clever quest to prove you're worthy of the Great Cow. And there is a really unique version of the Grey Cow with this that you can obtain. Mythic Dawn Expansion is a quest line that you'll encounter with the Mythic Dawn. It adds them into the world of Skyrim. Uh, there's a main quest for you to complete, six side quests for you to do. Um, and a number of paths you can take for uh, new abilities, Path of the Warrior, Path of the Shadow, Path of the Necromage. 17 new quests total, fully voiced NPCs, three new vendors, a new world to explore called Arcadia. Army of Darkness Draugrs. This is going to turn all of our Draugrs into skeleton because Draugrs specifically are not in Oblivion. And we've added Wolves of Cyrodiil by Mihel, Mihel Monsters in Oblivion Horses in 1K. There's also a 2K version, should you choose. Of course, we have our NPC appearance mods. Jarl's complete character overhaul light is pretty much all everything. It's our skins, our bodies, eyes, scars, covers the children, um, high poly vanilla hair. It's all added in here in HG hair pack. Any hair pack you want to use to add chaos hairs to your own character. And then Lens reimagining the NPCs covers about 790 NPCs in Skyrim and DLCs for all new looks. Um, children are not included with this, neither are Argonian and Khajiit. Children of Coal Harbor. This is a mod based on Sacrosanct that is going to make uh, the vampires in the game more align with Oblivion. And then this is a patch for it, it's just called Harder Sun. Um, it's a small plugin for Sacrosanct that introduces constant damage while in sunlight to vampires, including yourself. And Nord War UA all in one. Um, this is a newer mod released, uh, based on single, simple workaround framework. It's a 512 re resolution of armor replacers. I know that's a bit low. Use different armors if you want, but I think Nord War here, all of Nord War's armors are a lot more similar to what we would have seen, um, like with the Cyrodelic armors, the armors from Oblivion. Um, they look more um, in place for this, so I thought they were the best to choose. This is a full armor replacer for vanilla base armors, and I think it also covers DLC armors as well. It's a small file size, that's why it's 512 resolution. Um, Sons of Skyrim, this is going to replace all of the guard armors in the game and Stormcloaks with Authentic Legion. This one is well known to be most similar to... Um, to Cyrodelic armors, I guess, that the Imperials would wear in the game. And um, yeah, that's it. So for Flora, I mean, we're gonna use a, a small lot. Detailed terrain lot light works with Tamrielic textures, but doesn't cover DLC locations. Um, our plants, for trees, we're just gonna make an upgrade of the vanilla trees in the game. We slightly upgrade them and then all trees get 2k upgraded bark in the game so at least the trees look a little bit better up close but oblivion's not that dense of a foresty populated type of place so we'll just work with the trees we have they look nicer how about that that's all we need and then we'll use alternate start live another life for our quick start patched with jk's interiors and our interior lighting and realistic water because it's the best and that'll be that so definitely check out this load order. I'm definitely looking for some feedback on this. I'm sure everyone else is in the comments. So 
If you give it a try, let me know what you think. This is my attempt at bringing Blivian Sky, not Sky Blivian, Blivian Sky to Skyrim for us on Xbox.